Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and tonight I'm out here trying to fix a little problem I had with the last video I put out. I was talking about the drive discs and how to adjust them with the little gauge that you can make. Well, what I forgot to do was to tell you if it is out of adjustment, how to adjust them. If you look... I have the mower deck off of this, obviously, it's pretty stripped down. But if your mower deck was on it, it would be hanging right about in here, in your way. So if you were to look down on the top side of this drive disc, it sits in here like this. If you look down on the top side, you're going to see two set screws that go through the hub. These two have been removed. They're not in there. But this hub is fitting in this model just like this. The two screws are up. You pull them two screws or loosen them and this hub will slide up and down on the crank on the engine. Now I had a viewer get a hold of me and told me that somehow he damaged his drive disc. He ran over something or hit something in it. it I can't remember if it took a chip out of it or bent it, but he said, I've got to replace it. I've got the screws out, but I can't move it. It's froze to the crank. How do I get it off? He said, I've got a spare one that I can switch it. And I told him, you may not have to take it off to change the drive disc. This is an aluminum disc. And it screws on to the steel hub. And between these two pinches the pulley. These, you, uh, you can see the ribs on the back side of these. You take a piece of wood, uh, a little piece of pine I use, or a piece of oak. And when this is setting in there, I reach down in there with that piece of oak and I catch one of these ribs. And you wrap that piece of oak with a hammer. That will bust this loose. This unscrews right off of here. This is your drive disc. Here's your pulley. And this is your steel hub. Now if you have to pull this hub off, don't use a wheel puller and pull against this aluminum disc because you will break it. You want to take them off. You want to put the wheel puller and grip this steel hub and pull that off. Now in his case, all he had to do was change this. So I told him, and he had a spare, I told him how they come apart, I says put this in a vise, unscrew this disc, take the one off that's damaged off your tractor, and screw the new one back on. You won't have to take this off. He did it, the disc lined up, He's back in business. He didn't have to mess with that. These will come right out. Shift your tractor in the fifth gear. Push, have, pull the clutch down or do like I did. Put a pair of pliers on your yoke. Push the clutch in. Pull your whole drive disc assembly off your chain case. You take one 15 16 nut off of the center of the disc that screws onto this uh, shaft. This whole assembly will come off and it will get out of your way. You can unscrew this and pull it right off. Slip the new one in there, screw it on, and he was back in business. There's usually a hole in the end of the crankshaft where you can put your wheel puller. If there's not, try drilling one. Some of the cranks are soft, some are hardened. The hardened ones you're not going to be able to drill. And that's about it on getting this off. When you go to put this assembly back together, put your pulley back on, and to get this screwed on here is sometimes a little tricky because on this hub they have two flats machined on there to drive the pulley. 
and sometimes it's a little hard getting them threads started straight to get that to screw on and sometimes it goes on good you never know that's how you adjust the drive disc and I had a viewer e <coughs> excuse me I had a viewer email me tonight and asked and told me I must have missed something on your video it's number 96 this will be 97 he says I, I I must have missed something on your video because I didn't see how you adjust the disc. Well, I forgot to put it on. It's just, I don't have a script. I don't have any help. I, buy, I do this by myself. I'm just kind of flying off the handle here. And I try to explain this as I'm going. And sometimes I forget some things. And uh, I don't edit. So... How you see this is exactly the way I shoot it, and then I upload it. I try to watch them before I upload it, but I just missed that until I uploaded it, and the next day I checked it, and I told, shoot, I forgot to tell them about the set screws and how to break that loose. So this is what happens when you shoot live. Things happen. But if you need any other help adjusting this drive disc, let me know. Otherwise, this video should help you do it. So if you have any other questions or comments, leave them in the description below. Or email me at jimsfixitshop at gmail.com and I'll get back with you and try to help you out. Until next time, work safe, have fun. And we'll talk to you soon.